Well, now to an update on that devastating crash in Florida last week where nine people were killed, some of them from Bridgeport. We're hearing from a few of their family members now who are picking up the pieces after the unthinkable losing their children and siblings. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts has more. At the snap of a finger, all your loved ones can be gone. On August 5th, a family vacation ended in tragedy. That was our clique. We did mostly everything together. When a horrific crash in Florida took the lives of nine people, six of them children from 23 months to 14 years old. Police say the vehicle they were in went off the road and landed upside down in a canal. Antoinette Edwards talked to the driver, Pamela Wiggins, that night. She said she was on her way to the airport. But they never arrived for their flight back to New Haven. The lone survivor, Jordan Hall, tried to rescue his family from the water, but couldn't. I told him he's my hero. He is. He did everything what he can do with his bare hands. Edwards lost her five-year-old son, Camdian, her only child. Her father broke the news to her that night. And he was like, um, Pamela died. I'm like, what? Then he kept going, and he was like, Liana died. I'm like, wait. I said, Daddy, where is Cam? He said he's dead. When he said that, my mind took over, my body took over. I couldn't focus. Brothers Ian and Michael Hall lost their sister and both of their sons. And when I get the news, when I asked where's my son, and I heard that um, he's also dead, you know? I was so, so, so upset. The boys, 14-year-old MJ and 8-year-old Amani, were close, growing up together in Jamaica. He was so excited when MJ was coming, you know, and he wanted to do everything with MJ. And that's why we're going to bury them together. This summer trip was MJ's first time in the States. To know that my son, um, we both came to, um, to the state and then to know that it's just me alone going to go back you know it's going to be so hard edward says she finds peace in the fact that the group had so much fun on their vacation and were together in the end so they live in a best life up there now we just have to see them at a later date in bridgeport amanda pitts nbc connecticut news and all of our prayers are with that family. Well, in addition to the local sheriff's office, the NTSB is also investigating this crash. According to a preliminary crash report, none of the 10 occupants were wearing seatbelts.